In this video, we'll take a look at making custom function definitions in P5.js. Custom functions are a fundamental building block for making code that is complex, has sophisticated behavior, but is also easy to read, easy to manage, and less prone to errors. So in my example file here, I've got a self-portrait that I'm drawing to the canvas, just using a bunch of individual shape function calls within the draw block. So I can see here, if I scroll down, my draw block is real big, something like 160, 175 lines of code. And that makes it a little bit clunky to open up this program, look at the code and read it and understand what's going on. So I'd like to make myself a custom function that I can use to draw all these shapes together without having to clog up my draw block with so much code. So first thing I'll do is highlight all of the code that I'm using to draw the shapes in that self-portrait. So I'm just highlighting, coming all the way down to the bottom, and then I'll just cut that out of the draw block, and we'll paste it into a custom function definition that we'll make just below that draw block. So I wanna make sure that uh, I'm leaving the curly brackets of the draw block intact, and that I'm making my custom function definition outside of that block and any other blocks. Uh, so to start, I'll use the keyword function, so that tells P5, we are declaring a custom function. Now we need to give it a name. So I'll call this self-portrait. Then we'll follow that with an open parenthesis and a close parenthesis. Now we have the option here of inside those parentheses, putting some parameters for our function. And those are local variables that could help us to customize the behavior of our function. For now, I'm just gonna leave that empty and we'll talk about setting up custom functions that have parameters in a separate video. So after our parentheses, we'll start with an open curly bracket and end with a closed curly bracket. And this is basically the skeleton of making a custom function definition in P5.js. So we've got that function keyword, we've got the name, we've got our open and closed parentheses, maybe with some local parameter variables inside and then our open and close curly brackets where all of our code will live. So I'll go right in between those curly brackets and just paste all of my shape functions into that block. So you can see down here, that's the end of my custom function. And if we scroll all the way back up, that's the beginning. Now, of course, I don't see anything on my canvas anymore because I've moved all of those shape and styling functions out of the draw block and into my self-portrait function definition. Uh, so to get access to all that code that's in that definition, I need to call the self-portrait function. And I can do that in my draw loop here. So just after background, just type out the name of my custom function, make sure I spell it correctly, and then open and close parentheses. And since our custom function definition doesn't expect any parameters, I don't have to put any variables or information in between those parentheses to get it to work. Just by calling the name of our function, that's shorthand for all of the code that's contained in our definition block. And you can see visually, I'm getting the exact same results. The advantage here is that my draw block is now much simpler. I can sit down, open up this program, and just at a glance, I can see, all right, so for every frame in the sketch, I'm drawing the background, then I'm drawing the self-portrait. That's very self-explanatory and easy to understand. Now, having this function is really nice because I can easily customize it. I could copy it into other code very easily if I wanted this image. I could even do things like set up some parameter variables here to control the location or the color. Uh, so I could have different variations on this overall image. So that's an overview of setting up custom function definitions in P5.js.